morning. This is Natalia Bermejo, Product Specialist and Marketing Content Specialist in Sense of Art. And today I want to show you one new feature of our S Neox, which has been very expected, which is the motorized tip tilt. Okay, so here you can see it. So here you can see it. Okay, this is how it looks like. And today in this video, what I'm going to do is actually show how to run it. Okay, so let's let's get started. Okay, so today in order to demonstrate this motorized tip tilt, I selected a special sample, which was a sample design for actually testing our capabilities. And as you can see here in this overview, there are like several sizes of step heights. And our goal was to measure even those tiny ones here, okay? In this case, the motorized step tilt is gonna be pretty useful because in here we need to actually look for the best performance of the system since um, this, these structures may be pushing a little bit the limits. So one thing that it's going to, of course, help a little bit in terms of measuring things is gonna be the possibility of having everything flat, okay? So in the software, you're going to see some changes because of the motorized tip tilt. Here we can see the joystick of the tip tilt. So in here we can change the inclination, okay, of both directions, A and B. And we can change that direction um, from three degrees to minus three degrees. Okay, that's actually how much we can move. Then here we can go to zero. So that is actually the zero that we established in the calibration screen with a certified mirror, which is certified to be um, completely flat. And finally, we have this auto tilt, which is actually uh, going to take a topography, okay? And then it's going to calculate what is the tilt, and finally it's going to fix it. So as you can see here, now we don't have zero. We have different coordinates, okay? According to this sample and this objective. Okay, the motorized step tilt works for both uh, types of um, objectives, either bright field with confocal and focus variation, and also with interferometric objectives. Okay, so now I'm gonna change to my 50 XPI because I want to measure these heights here, and it is pretty clear that it has some tilt respect from from the 20x. Okay, so let's click out the tilt. And we're going to get no fringes in our sample, OK? In this sample, this, these structures here I'm going to be repeated at least uh, 100 times, OK? So imagine the case that we want to measure them all. And we want to make sure that every single measurement is going to be without any inclination. So for that, we have here in this part of the screen, okay, tip tilt. So we can actually say that we want a tip tilt before measurement, okay? And for example, in the case that we are using a Z-scan that is a relative, uh, what is going to happen is after the tilt, the tilting, we are not gonna be in focus probably because of the movement of the stage. So in order to make sure that we are always in focus when we take the measurement, we can go to system preferences, and in tip tilt, we can select autofocus after tip tilt. Okay. All right. Also, since we have this sample here, I'm going to go a little bit down, which is super safe. And I'm going to select that this coordinate is going to be my lock coordinate. So the system is not going to actually go further this coordinate. Well, actually, this coordinate. Okay. This is the absolute position. So that's one thing. And the other thing is, it's actually quite interesting to save uh, the positions. And now we can not only save positions, but also name them. So I'm going to put first position, okay? And now I know that this is gonna be first position reference. So we don't mix up the three different references. Okay, so without further ado, we can actually click acquire. So right now it's gonna take a topography to understand the tilting. 
it's gonna change the inclination and now it's doing an autofocus to make sure that it finds the focus again and finally when it sees the, the focus it's gonna perform the measurement And right now we obtain a measurement that it's completely flat okay and that's it for today thank you very much for seeing this video and see you in the next one